Bridge is a couple really powerful utilities. The two I want to focus on here are the idea that I can do a batch rename in Bridge. Doesn't have to be for stills, by the way. And I'm going to do a conversion from this raw format to JPEG. So let's do the renaming first. Let's say I made a mistake in the last section where I made a mistake at some point. I want to append the name of the project to all these stills. I'm going to select all of them and I'm going to come up here to this tools menu. I'd like you to see there's this choice right at the top for batch renaming. It's one of the hidden features, one of the hidden gems inside of Bridge. I'm going to choose that batch rename. We get this big dialog box. I'm just going to rename these things in the same folder. I'm just working my way down. I'm going to change the project. I'm going to add this project information here. And this is called baby doc. Up to you if you want to use spaces or not. I don't care about the date, time, sequence number. I'm just going to remove these. This last one, instead of the sequence number, I'm going to put the existing file name. So it's just going to rename each of these files with the words baby doc right in the front of them. If you want to, you can even uh, save this as a preset if you want to use this in the future for other items. Try not to blink. Here we go. Rename. Boom. They've all been renamed. They're ready to go. We've added that custom data. Two other things that I just want to just pay like a little token to here in Bridge is the idea that I can star shots and filter them. I can go ahead and give them all sorts of labels and ratings. And you can actually sit back and look at any one picture for any of its properties, like how it was shot, what sort of lens was on the camera, and any other sort of metadata in the right you would choose to add. What I need to do, of course, though, here in this step, and this is the big picture of this step aside from the rename, is I need all of these to be out of raw format in JPEG format so I can work with them in Premiere Pro because Premiere Pro does not handle raw. Other place I'm going to go up top here is Tools. I'm going to come up to Tools. I'm going to choose Photoshop. And I'm going to tell it to do act as an image processor. And all it's going to do is kick open Photoshop, bring open the image processor window. You may find that you have a switch here, open first image to apply settings. You're going to make sure it's off. And then everything else is straightforward. One, right at the top, select the images, the process. Two, select this location. Three, what's the file type? Four is a bonus. If you've built an action or you like some of the default Photoshop actions like vignetting shots, you could turn on and say, build me a vignette, do a cast shadow, add a wood frame. Now, I don't want to do any of this stuff. I want you to see how powerful that is there because if you've defined an action, you can just do this repetitively on a number of files. I'm going to press run. This will happen pretty quickly. Each photo is opened, converted, saved, closed. And boom, I have a folder full of JPEGs. Just like when I convert my video, I can convert my stills. I've handled them. I can rate them. I can adjust the metadata ready to go for importing into Premiere Pro.